Hey guys, let's go ahead and start back where we left off. I'm just going to work on this part here. So let's hide my hinge. Now you can see we need to delete some of this to make our gap. So let's go back to polygon mode here. And let's select this loop. And we'll select this loop. And we'll delete them. Now let's hide our original hinge and just work here. Okay. Now we can go in and get behind here, and you can see some of the topology problems we're having. And um, you can go in and you can experiment by getting rid of certain edges that you think might be not needed. Okay. And you can always check your changes by going back into polygon mode and seeing how things look. I see that cleaned up my back a whole lot by getting rid of those edges. Okay, so let's go in here. Now I'm not gonna do much detail on this because that's for you afterwards. I'm showing you how to get this base down because I just got 10 minutes. So let's select these edges and hit the P key to fill it in with the polygon. And let's do the same thing with these edges and hit the P key to fill it in with the polygon. Now you'll notice when we go into polygon mode, we got some geometry problems, which isn't a big issue. What we need to do is we need to go into our edge slice and just cut up our mesh a little bit. We'll do we'll do this one. Bring it all the way across like this, and then we'll do the rest the same way. We'll connect it here. And we'll do our last one. Connect it here. Now this is as far as I'm going to go with it. I'll leave it up to you to um, adjust it further. But we can go into polygon mode now. And you can see that's helped out our geometry a whole lot. Okay, so let's do the same thing up here. We'll go to edge slice. And we'll cut all the way across to this and we're going to continue on down incrementally until we get to the last one. Just to help it hold our geometry a little bit better. A lot of people like edge weights and stuff. And edge weights are a good tool. But a lot of times they can mess up geometry. So I try to avoid them when possible. But sometimes you just have to use them. Let's go in here. I don't know if I'm going to need to make this last cut or not, but we'll see. Spacebar, drop the tool, tab. Now we still have some topology issues, but I'm going to let you guys fix that. After this video, I'll go in and fix all my topology issues by adding edge loops and stuff, but I do not have time to set in tinker with this topology which just adding cuts removing cuts as you see there's a little problem here and there's a little problem here but that's not hard that's not hard to fix so when I turn on my hinge now you can see we have this space and if you want to you could even probably let's turn off let's go back here go back into um, polygon mode here real quick so what you might want to do is you can select this loop and you can try to you know manipulate it bring it down a little bit make it a little longer I'll let you guys handle all that let's check our action center here bring that down just a tad because it's a little short for me that's a little bit better okay man that topology is bugging me I wish I had what I just ain't got time to go in there and fiddle with my topology um, okay I see some edges we need to get rid of right through here 
but like I said, I'm not going to go in and try to delete all these little edges just to cure up my topology because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Now that helps a whole lot, but then again, it screwed up this topology up up here. See, so now we got to look and see. Okay, where's this this problem coming from? What have we got here? So it looks like. Let's see here. I'm trying to look at it real close from the inside, which is really hard to do sometimes to get a good lock on what's going on. Yeah, that helped a whole lot. So let's go on around like this. And see where else we're getting foobarred here. Okay, that helped cure up the flow of the geometry a whole lot there. Okay, so now when I go into uh, turn off my wireframe, we just have a little bit of a problem right here. And there we go. Now we're fixed. So there you go, guys. That's how you fix some of your um, topology problems that I know a lot of you experience inside Moto. Okay. So now that we've got this, okay, now we just need to go in and beta. I'm just going to throw in a basic monitor here since we're running low on time. I'm going to go to my model quad view. We'll go to the front. I want to look at the front. Okay, there's that. This is where we want to build our monitor. So let's just do a real quick square here. Like so. We'll take our segments down to zero, zero, zero. Now we got one segment in each. So I guess we want to bring this out a little bit, make it a little thicker. Like a monitor is. Okay. So now real quick, let's give this front face a bevel. Just so we can get an idea of how what we're working on here. We'll bevel it in like this. We'll shift click and then we'll bevel it back a tad. Just a hair. Let's get in here and look. Yeah, just a hair. Like so. As you can see, we have our monitor sticking out there, so we'll want to adjust it. Now, when we go to sub D mode, it looks like we got a satellite. And in our next video, we're going to go through because the Apple monitor has some rounded edges right here. They're not real sharp. Okay. So we're going to go in and um, dice this up a little bit and refine it a little bit and make it look more like the Apple display. And then we're going to move on and set up some studio lighting for this thing. Okay. So now we have our hinge there. And we need to go in and refine our hinge, make it a little bigger. And we'll do some a lot of this refinement in our next video. I just wanted to show you how to really make our little gap here. And along the way, I've showed you how to fix some of topology problems. So I appreciate you watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next. Um, we'll see you in the next go round.